Lethal. You know what? I'm glad you're here because a yeah. couple of episodes back, uh, this oh, gentleman across uh, from you right here, uh, uh, we had a whole uh, discussion about how he said that we couldn't prove that Margarita was cheating. What are your thoughts on that, Mosley? Wait, yeah. let, you me, <laughs> let me clarify. Let's not Good. start any drama here. <laughs> <laughs> so they're claiming that he was cheating all along. Right, obviously. Yeah, some of the fights he was prior. Before treaty. prior, okay. P- people can make assumptions, but yeah, you know, nobody can. He got he, caught against you, right? And that's all right, I was saying. Right. We can't say for a fact before whether I'm not defending well, him, but I, I I noticed that when he fought um, Cotto yeah. the first time, he had Cotto busted up, but mm-hmm. he kind of Cotto busted up the second time too, a little bit. Even though Cotto, they said you know he won the fight, yeah, but. He still was landing hands on Cotto the same way, and Cotto was still kind of bruised after the fight. If you if you seen it, mm-hmm. not as bad as it was the first time, but mm-hmm. um, you know, when my coach brought the hand wraps to the mm-hmm. to the dressing room right before the fight, and they, they showed the pass I mean, it was it was evident that you know he was doing that, and it was you know Capitillo, which is his coach, yeah, mm-hmm. that, which I knew too. Um, you know, he he was saying he was going to make his hands feel better or not hurt because it was probably hurting because of his punch or whatever. But yeah. I mm-hmm. think that, you know, he thought there was a little edge, so they wanted to use that edge in yeah. the fights. And, that, yeah. you know, that's not a good deal. And a couple of sparring partners said that they kind of got hurt yes. from him sparring mm-hmm. with him with, you know, not knowing why they're feeling the shots the way they are. Um, so, I mean, it could have been – a good while, and it, nothing, yeah. nothing happened, you know. You put plaster pearl on your hands, and, you know, it's the regular, and then you go outside, and when you start boxing, then you the sweat causes it That's to turn more. That's what they say, right? Yeah, yeah. the sweat causes it uh, to turn more into cast. But he was, he was using the, um, what, the knuckle pads. He made him, they made him as knuckle pads, not the whole wrap, not the not okay. the whole thing. Just yeah, the, the whole cast. Not the whole cast. It yeah. was just the knuckle pads. Oh. And that's what was... Um, it was found in the in the in the, in the wrapping. Yeah, yeah, I think I think Miguel Cotto called them out, and I guess there were some some pictures where you see the uh, and it, pictures. It's some pictures. Cracked, yeah, yeah so that they were cracked. Does that, is that does that prove that? Oh, I mean, it, it proved already because the, when we went to the back, and the doctor came back and said, oh, "Yeah, that's the, the dust fell off of oh. it. <laughs> the dust fell off of that. That's oh. past the peril. That's why it, it's, yeah. it's no doubt that that's what he had. Yeah. Um, you know whether, I, and I think kind of knew about it, but I think there was more capitillo that was put it on him to to mm-hmm. so you know these are gonna protect your hands and you know my I wrap hands like calves anyway like people wrap their hands really tight you mm-hmm. know so they kind of thinking eh, it's not gonna make make much a difference but you know, that that's very dangerous and the, yeah. and the and the the doctor did that's why the doctor came back the commission came back and they looked at it so oh, yeah that's yeah. plastic sparrow. it's oh. interesting that you say that because we had Alfonso Gomez as well on the show uh-huh. and he said when he sparred Margarito they broke his nose yeah so, he's, and a lot of people said something yeah. about the eye socket being you know broken yeah. stuff like that so you know that's 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 dangerous especially for somebody that's fighting like Margarito you know yeah. for th- I I say I put most of the blame on the coach because the coach knows better than that. Mm-hmm. He knows what I can do with another fighter, you know. Yeah. And you know, Margaret is fought too, but most of it should go to the coach. Go. Now, what, what what goes through your mind when you hear that? Like, yeah, some weird stuff going on with his hand wraps going into the fight. What goes through your mind? Well, you know, I really didn't think much about it because with the way I trained, I trained so hard with with so many people that I, I felt that I don't care what he does. Yeah. I'm gonna, Nothing's going to stop me. I'm <laughs> going I'm, I'm to knock him out. I'm going mm-hmm. to beat him. You know what I'm saying? And I knew because I was in the ring sparring with Librado Andrades and, and his brother Enrique Anelis, both brothers. And they like, there was 190, 180. They was, and they're strong. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and a few other fighters I had in there that was pretty big. Steve, um, what's the name? Uh, just other fighters that were top level and were pretty yeah. big. And I knew that Margarita wouldn't be able to match my speed, power, tech, anything, you know. And, and I think that I have a much of a a better advantage yeah. fighting West Coast type mm-hmm. of fighters because I grew up here in the West Coast. And that's what I was explaining to a lot of the um, people when I fought him. I said, well, his style is complementary to what I know. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Mexican style, mm-hmm. boxing. You know what I'm saying? That's, that I, that's what I can do, you know. So... Um, I wasn't afraid, but when he fights people outside, 
like maybe like Koto or somebody else, they have more difficulties, more problems because with that they style. with that style because they never seen it before, mm-hmm. and, and it's difficult. Like Chavez and all that stuff. But yeah. I grew up in that, mm-hmm. so you can't use that same style with me. Yeah, yeah. You started <laughs> off hot. No, thanks, Lily. <laughs> <laughs> was I mean, go, going into that fight, did you guys? Did you guys know you're, you're going to check his his hand wraps? Like, was they, that was they, that they a knew concern? They, they knew they were going to check the hand wraps. But see, that what Capitillo did was he he made it a knuckle pad, so it wasn't the whole wrap. So if you see a pad and the and the knuckle pad is just it's regular, it's not there's no plastic pair or nothing. Mm-hmm. It's, well, it is plastic pair, but it's not hard yet. Yeah. Yeah. So he puts it on the knuckle and does the wrap. So everything is just, it's like a regular wrap. So they check it off and nobody knows. Mm-hmm. He takes yeah. it off, he cuts it off, and that's it. Yeah. So, you know, it was my coach. He Nazim Richardson. Nazim Richardson. He took the 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 pad and he and he and he did mm. this. He mm. took, like, what's that falling off here? Yeah. I'm. And he called commission. So no, I'm taking this with me. So he took it with it. He wouldn't even get back to the commission to make sure mm. that the doctor and everybody, yeah. uh, the lawyer, knew that this was happening. Yeah. You that's know. Smart. Yeah. Going into the fight, you were a four to one underdog, right? Yeah, I was I was further yeah. underdog than that before the, before the fight, like mm-hmm. like seven to one, then dropped to four to one. Yeah, yeah, because he was coming off the Koto win. Yeah, yeah. Right, the first one. Yeah, he knocked him out, and he was knocking out a lot of people. Um, later on, about like he'd walk him down, and you know, and they figured that I was getting older. I think I was thirty nine at the time. I fought Margarito. Yeah, mm-hmm. so they figured I was older, and you know, the yeah. next Tigers coming in. Yeah, it's it's crazy because I remember talking to my dad about it. He's all like, "Hey, no, don't sleep on Mosey." Yeah, I was like, "He's like, I don't care how old he is." I was like, "He has that style to to beat yeah. him." Yeah, and yeah, I, yeah, it was it was uh, amazing it, to watch that. It, it it was just in, you know, I've watched Mark Rudo come up too as well, because mm-hmm. um, uh, Olympic boxing, the train center over yeah. there, where we used to train. So he used to come down Sparrow Janeiro too as well. Mm-hmm. I believe he was born in Torrance, right? Uh, Tijuana. Grew up in Torrance he was and then born here. grew up in, yeah, in Tijuana. Yeah. Oh, and then grew up in Tijuana. Yeah, so coming back and forth. So, yeah, yeah mm-hmm. I, so I've been seeing him around when he was coming up the ranks or whatever. Yeah. Um, and his style, you know, I, I, yeah. You've seen it before. Barbecue I, I chicken. Seen, I seen it, yeah. <laughs> like I, see, I seen it, I seen it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and Shane, correct me if I'm wrong. You've seen that style before and... Did you did you spar a uh, Julio Cesar Chavez when you were younger? Oh man, yeah, I yeah. Did. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was that was a little scary. Yeah, because how, how you? Like uh, you already know, I said I'm a fun guy. <laughs> Shout out to Against the Ropes. You know what my mine is? Let's box bitches. It's almost fight night.